just, it disappeared like a fart in the wind. I look like a rag doll. I'm a rag muppet. I don't care. I don't care. What's up YouTube? It's Erica with Crippin's Poopin Scoopin and welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in hearing about my day and how I deleted today's video, stay tuned. I can't believe I deleted the video. Uh. All right, you guys, let's hop into it. So I had a video for today's upload, um, but I just, I just deleted it. I deleted the whole entire thing. I don't know where it went. It's just completely gone. Just, it disappeared like a fart in the wind. So I want to stay consistent with my uploads because that's what all the YouTube people say to grow your channel. So I want to stay consistent. So today's Tuesday. I'm trying to upload every single Tuesday. I was trying out Thursdays. I might switch that to Saturdays. Let me know what you guys think. Would you be more apt to watch my video on a Thursday or on a Saturday? Comment below and let me know what your guys' thoughts are. If you really don't care, because you just watch this when you have nothing better to do. I don't know, still comment. Just let me know, okay? So I can't fully remember what that entire video was about because I was all jacked up on coffee. So I'm not gonna try to recreate it because I feel like if I try to do that, then it's just gonna take me way too long to upload. And it's already almost six o'clock p.m. on Tuesday. So I wanna get this video up within the next hour. That's including recording it, tagging, title it, and upload it. So let's see how fast I can get this up. But what I wanted to talk about is a rain day. So today, it's, I don't even know what the date is, it's Tuesday, but it was very rainy this morning, like loud thunder, um, lightning, the big booms. It was insane. Um, the, uh, the power was flickering in and out, the Wi-Fi was going in and out. It was my stepson's first day of virtual learning and he like came downstairs freaking out like the internet, I was like, ah! But we got that all figured out. So when I woke up this morning, it was 55 degrees and it was very rainy. So I'm thinking to myself, is it gonna be a rain day? Do I wanna make this day up? Am I going to postpone it? I, I scoop Monday through Thursday, have a very, very light day on Friday to allow for some wiggle room in my schedule. So if I needed to put push some scoops back, I'm able to do that without having to push over into my weekend, typically. Typically that's how it goes. So this morning I got up and I seen that it was raining. On the weather, it said that by 11 o'clock the rain was supposed to stop. So I let my employee know that we were going to postpone the scooping till at least 11 o'clock. Now, when you're in business, you might be thinking like, do I call a day? Do I push it back? If I skip a day, am I still going to charge my customers? When am I gonna remake the scoop up? Are they gonna be upset with me if I have to switch days? Like all this stuff will come into your mind. Don't stress out about it. Literally don't stress out about it. But you do need to figure out kind of ahead of time what you want to do. If you just wanna completely skip the scoop, because you don't have wiggle room in your schedule uh, and then you'll just get to it next week. The issue with that is, is when we're in the middle of summer, say for instance, if it's July or August, a lot of people are gonna be upset about that. Now moving towards like the fall where it's like September, October, November, people really aren't outside as much. Skipping scoops really isn't that big of a deal. But in the summertime, it is like, it's highly frowned upon but you gotta figure out what you wanna do in your business. I'm just gonna let you know what I do and what I think has worked for me so far, and then you can go ahead and make your own decisions. So say for instance, I woke up this morning and it was rainy out. I'm not gonna call the entire day. I'm just gonna play it by ear. Now, while I was waiting this morning, I was trying to be productive and work on some snow removal contracts because uh, we actually do snow removal in the winter as well. So I'm trying to get all that stuff straightened out. And then I was trying to do a couple other things, but I don't know, it was just like the rain, the dog was all snuggly, my husband came home and he wanted to snuggle. So I gave up and I took a 45 minute nap and I laid on the couch with my husband and my dog and we snuggled and it was wonderful. 
I got up at like 10 15 um, looked outside I could tell that the that the sky was starting to lighten up so I got myself ready because I knew I was gonna be ready to rock and roll and I just kind of headed on out uh, typically I don't get any text messages from my customers asking me where I'm at because I don't go to the houses the same time every single week. I don't give time frames. I let them know that their scoop day typically will be on Tuesday, but it's weather permitting, but we aim for Tuesday. So at 10 o'clock, somebody won't be messaging me like, hey, you're usually here by 10 o'clock. You're not here yet. We're not that consistent, so we don't really have to deal with that problem. I have one customer that I allow to have a time, a requested time. We have to be there before 11 o'clock and it's a pain in my butt, but it is what it is. She's local, so it's just, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I just deal with it. It's not like it's a faraway house. Now, what if I would have skipped today's scoop? Uh, would I still charge my customer? Absolutely not. If I decide that I'm going to skip a scoop and I'm not gonna make it up, I do not charge them. I credit their um, their bill for the following month, especially if they are a reoccurring customer. I just let them know like, hey, listen, I'm unable to make it or I'm unable to make it up. I'm going to credit ne next month's bill. Most of them don't ever have a problem with it. Um, if somebody were to be like, well, I want it credited back to me right away or they were to have an issue with it, I would credit their account immediately. I would just go into my Square invoicing and just hit like refund and refund them for the week. But I, I haven't had any of those problems, so it never has been an issue. Um, like I said earlier in the video, when it's summertime, people might get upset if you decide to fully skip the scoop. Um, they hire you for consistency and they want you to be there. Uh, so I very rarely, very, very rarely have I ever completely skipped a scoop. I don't even think I've skipped an entire our scoop in the summertime. During the warm months, I just, I don't, I don't do it. I, I figure out a way to make it up. Um, unless, unless the homeowner's like, hey, don't worry about it. I'm gonna take care of it. Just come next week. Cause I don't wanna have problems. I don't want people upset with me. I want to be very reliable. Those are, those are things that are very important to me. My communication and my reliability and accountability within this business. Um, but when you get more towards like the cooler months where it's like uh, snow has fallen, it's easier to skip scoops, but you don't wanna get into the habit of skipping scoops because if you start skipping too many, then the customer might start thinking like, well, well, do I need to keep this service through the winter? Like, do I really need to have it through the winter? Should I cancel it and then start back up in the spring? And that's not a problem you wanna run into because you want them to keep your service all through the winter because that's gonna be your bread and butter, especially if this is your only income. All right, if you have any more questions about how I handle a, a snow day or a rain day or having to skip a scoop, ask some questions down below and I can answer those more in detail. This is kind of just more of like a general type video and kind of off the cusp because I accidentally deleted my other video and I just wasn't fully prepared. This YouTube thing's kind of hard. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up, you guys. If you like it, smash that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you know, there's a button for that as well, but don't do that. Hit that thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, come on now. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the little, little notification bell so you can come and hang out with me and help support my channel and help me grow. All right, you guys. And until next time.